Welcome to the Hungaro Ring and welcome to round two of the 2012 FIM Sidecar World Championship. Following on from the opening round of the season at Manicor, the series moves on to Hungary for this latest event. was held at Manicor alongside the Endurance World Championship opening event of 2012. Chance for the sidecar riders and passengers to get reacquainted with one another in competition in front of a fervent crowd. The current sidecar world champions started their defence of the crown with a great victory at Manikur, the Team Suzuki Finland pair of Pekka Peverinta and Adolf Hani stormed off from the start, leading the way from Tim Reeves Racing. They extended their lead on the opening lap to a couple of seconds. Behind them, Steinhausen Racing Team pursued second place Tim Reeves Racing, and early on it was a three-way battle on every corner. Whilst Team Suzuki Finland took full advantage to extend their lead. For the whole team, uh, it was very exciting to come to Magnicor because it was the first World Championship race after we've been out for quite a few years. So uh, we were very excited the whole weekend and we were quite pleased with the result. Although we had some uh, trouble with the bike, uh, we could finish fourth, very close to the podium, so we were quite happy with it. We have to find uh, better together because Greg and I just got started and uh, we need more laps and more practice. But um, I think we can get a podium finish or two this year. There are about five teams very competitive, uh, very close to each other. And um, well, especially at long races, it will be great for the spectators because um, we are so close and Sidecar is very you know, exciting for the people and uh, yeah, it will be a good season for Sidecar. The race was eventually red flagged due to a fluid on the track. That was after eight laps and as over two thirds of the race had been completed, the event was brought to a close with the standings from the previous lap deciding the final order. The weekend was pretty good for us, we qualified in fifth position. Then uh, got a good start in the race and we were battling for second. Um, it was Bell and Tom, and yeah, it was looking quite good. And then, unfortunately, the race was red flag, but we, had a, we were happy with where we finished in third. There is now five teams instead of last year, and there was only three, so it's good. It's close to racing, and uh, as you can see from today's qualifying, it's very close. I think this season the, 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 it will be a lot closer than before. I don't think that, that Pecker will have it easy, easily his own way because Ben is going very well, and start, York Steinhausen is, on the, is going good, and Schlosser and myself, so I think it will, be, it will be a lot closer this year than before. Manicor is setting the scene for what is to come this season. The leaders of the series, Team Suzuki Finland from Birchall Racing and Tim Reeves Racing. The Hungaro Ring back on the calendar for 2012. The Birchall brothers have made the sidecar series a family affair for nigh on a decade, forming a formidable partnership born from a shared love of racing. The older of the siblings, Ben Birchall, was the first to get his start in the competition, riding solo for the family until he was joined by his younger brother. wanted to drive a sidecar and it was until 2003 when I was able to do that and that's when Tom became my passenger. Ever since we first started, when I first started in 98, Tom came with me um, along to help as a mechanic. As soon as I was old enough to get the English licence, we decided to race together but Ben had already had a couple of years as a driver. When I was 16 I jumped on the side. And 
It was the culmination of a childhood dream for the Birchall brothers. We'd always said as children we always wanted to race together, you know, always as a sidecar team, so when I was old enough, we, we did it, and we never looked back. Obviously, their relationship is one of the strongest in sidecar racing. The dynamic is one well-established and well-rehearsed. We talk about stuff on the circuit. He tells me what I'm doing wrong. I tell him what he's doing wrong. Basically, he has to do what he's told because he's 10 years younger than me. Tom already knows what I'm going to do before I do it because, you know, we're just connected in, in blood as well as, as well as friendship. So I think it's a definite advantage. There's a compromise, but he always has the final word. The Birchall brothers. Brothers in arms in the Sidecar World Championship. The action at the Hungaro ring about to begin the first qualifying practice held on a dry track despite overcast and hot conditions in the afternoon. The session a tight one with six teams fighting very hard for pole position and clocking very close lap times. Marcus Schlusser and Thomas Hofer riding the best lap in a time of 1 minute 55.426 ahead of Team Suzuki Finland. During the second qualifying session, the Birchall brothers performed even better and clinched pole position. Championship leaders Pekka Paverinta and Adolf Harney took second position on the grid. The Swiss pair of Marcus Schlosser and Thomas Hofer would start the race from the front row in third position. And it was bad luck for the German team Hock Racing, who damaged their S1 sidecar and would have to work hard overnight to repair the machine to be able to take part in the race. The sidecars lined up on the grid. There was some drama at the opening round in Manicor when we had a machine stopped on the starting grid. Would they all get away to a clean start this time around? There is the uh, grid lineup. Virtual racing starting from pole ahead of the reigning world champions, Team Suzuki Finland. at the Hungaro ring underway then. Schlosser and Hofer managed to take the whole shot. But Team Suzuki Finland pull in front just before the first corner. This flowing track really uh, showcasing the sliding of these sidecars. Even a bit of lift from uh, Team Suzuki Finland coming around that left-hander. On board with the uh, Birchall brothers, Ben and Tom. The team on pole position. Ben Birchall still recovering from an injured arm after a crash during the Isle of Man race. Steinhausen and Kluz Two riders also expected to push for the victory at Ungaro Ring. Some onboard sliding. Plenty of movement going on. There's the team down in last place. Watska racing. Starting from the final spot on the grid. Rain beginning to fall in spits. That leads to the red flag being waved and the drivers being pulled back into the pits. Yeah. 
changes to be made, some uh, tyres to be replaced. And a short break before the restart of round two of the FIM Sidecar World Championship Series. The teams with time to make some adjustments in order to take on the remainder of the race. The wet tyres put on, the riders ready to go. Pulling back up onto the grid. A wet race declared on the restart. The track, though, rapidly drying after a spot of rain. The procedure undertaken again on the grid. A brief chat between the uh, virtual racing team and Tim Reeve. Underway again, Team Suzuki at Finland leading the way early on. Again pulling right around Team Schlusser. Virtual Racing uh, right behind the uh, Steinhausen Racing Team. Piverinta and Hani. The winners of round one. Out in front in round two. On board with the uh, Birchels. As they push to take the lead. Team Suzuki Finland. Keeping out in front. Getting that left wheel off. Pushing very hard on their world championship winning machine. Steinhausen Racing. Uh, carving their way up the order in pursuit of the Finnish outfit. And the French squad also at the midway point, forming part of the pack, trailing behind the uh, Two who looked to be battling for the victory. It was Virtual Racing who was still the closest to passing Team Suzuki. Tim Reeves Racing later got into the battle. A slight gap being extended by Team Suzuki Finland over Virtual Racing. They managed to claw it back on the corners. Steinhausen racing not too far behind either. They have a connect team who uh, crashed out in the opening race and drew the uh, red flag, but eventually uh, cut the uh, money court event short. Steinhausen Racing eventually made the key pass. That allowed them to take the win in a tremendously tight race. That was after Team Suzuki Finland looked to be a dead cert to take the victory. Steinhausen Racing getting past Birchall Racing. Tim Reeves Racing also pushing up into the final podium spot. Tim Reeves, the winner of the last event held at the Ongaro Ring in 2005. Seven laps to go, uh, things getting much tighter out in front.
Team Suzuki Finland had looked to uh, have extended enough of a gap to take the win at Hungaro Ring. But their rivals had other ideas. Steinhausen Racing getting past Tim Reeve Racing. And then hunting down Team Suzuki Finland. Team Schlusser holding back, waiting for a chance at the podium. That would not come in the end. Still the battle on to decide the uh, top three places though. Virtual Racing repassing, uh, Tim Reeves Racing. With just a handful of laps to go, there was a retirement for Delta Racing. Having to bring their sidecar into the pits with a mechanical issue. And teams behind riding for points. Russia sidecar, one of those. Steinhaus Racing eventually making the key pass. Managing to claw back the gap. But has separated them and Team Suzuki Finland. be a tremendously close call by the end. Steinhausen racing though, getting in front with two laps to go. The gap between May and Team Suzuki Finland on the line was just 0 0.312 of a second, one of the closest races in sidecar history. On the last lap, Tim Reeves Racing, a further 15 seconds back, moved into the final podium spot. Themselves only just sealing their position by 0 0.441 over Birchall Racing. The final lap, Steinhausen Racing protecting their lead, taking the win, relegating Team Suzuki Finland down to second. Tim Rees Racing uh, winning out in the battle for the final podium spot. Just edging out virtual racing. A hard fought race victory for Steinhausen Racing. The team of Jörg Steinhausen and Gregory Cluzet. A steady race ridden by them to catch Team Suzuki Finland and to take the top spot of the podium. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, we got a reasonably good start, and, and we were battling with the front, the front group. But um, we got into a bit of a battle with Ben and Tom, and I think it was. Yeah, it's what we lost the drag with the leaders then because we were we were fighting so hard. The, the pair of us, we lost we lost the toe from the leading two. To start this very good and very good first ten lap. There's no rope, man, and I'm 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 drive all the time full. Oh, brilliant. We had a brilliant race. The first part of the race, uh, until the red flag, was a bit more difficult for us. Uh, we um, were a bit uh, too far away from the leading group, 
But uh, after the second start, we kept pushing from the lap one and uh, could follow Pekka and uh, really enjoyed it all through the race. The bike worked really brilliant and I'm so pleased for the team because um, we spent nights of work throughout the last weeks and um, it's a big pleasure to be here. The final standings of the race at Hungaro Ring. Uh, Steinhausen Racing uh, take the win uh, from Team Suzuki Finland. Tim Reeves Racing in third. Virtual Racing in fourth ahead of Team Schlosser. And here's how the overall standings look. Team Suzuki Finland still lead the way. Steinhausen Racing up to second place ahead of Virtual Racing. The podium ceremony with Steinhausen Racing on the top step of the rostrum. A win for them at Hungaro Ring in round two of the FAM Sidecar World Championship. A victory celebration for Steinhausen Racing as the series moves on and gathers pace in 2012. Plenty more rounds to go. Join us for the next one in this exciting series.